Good morning, YouTube. Here we are. We uh, went shopping last night and did some uh, purchases over at Walmart. <clears throat> and I want to share this morning um, the finds that we did. And, and the reason I wanted to do this video because a lot of people are asking if there is a way to get overage at Walmart. And definitely is a way to get overage at Walmart. There is different ways that you can use, utilize that overage. You, if you know that you have overage um, with some of the coupons, you can definitely put it on a gift card. The other thing, and this is what I actually do because we always need other items from Walmart. I don't put it on a gift card. What I do is I use it to pay the difference or pay for my other items. So those are the two ways that you can use overage. Um, overage does cover taxes as well. So um, it is, it is a, a pretty good, pretty nice uh, policy, coupon policy that Walmart has that the overage, whatever is left, it will go to the customer. So what I did yesterday was I found uh, this um, Revlon products and this is the uh, foundation. I found it for on clearance for three fifty. We had a coupon for four dollars, and and the book was on the retail me not from five twenty, May twentieth. Um, so we had a four dollar coupon. Each of them gave me fifty cents overage. I also found this Alme. They are on clearance for a dollar. We just got coupons for this this last Sunday, and they were a two dollar coupon for each of these ones. I got a dollar, so there is a two dollar overage on those. Um, we also found this is from Revlon as well, and we found that we had to take the the um, sticker out of this one because it was not scanning but and the cashier was trying to get to this sticker on the bottom but it is brand new it was not open uh, they they mess with it and that's what it looks like that but it was completely brand new and so we found it for a dollar fifty and we had coupons for this for three dollars so that gave me another three dollars overage one fifty for each of them we also found um this cover girl items and they are for contour pellets and these ones were marked down to two dollars and we did have a coupon for two dollars so those ones were completely free we also got the big uh, razors and these ones we had a coupon for three dollars so i only paid like 24 cents on those ones we found uh finally we've been with these coupons we had these coupons for quite a while but i finally find a bottle of the rubbermaid i have several of them so hopefully by the time they expire i can find a couple more those ones i use it a lot for like my salsa or um any juices or anything like that is great to have it on the refrigerator so i like it for my dressings and my salsa so I bought one of them. It's completely free. The coupon is a $2 coupon. And the um, item, I believe, was $1.88. So it made me a little bit overage. Um, and then I bought this. And, and I bought the wrong kind. But I still put it on the video because that's where my overage went. But I did got the wrong kind. The kind that I wanted it to get was a Fabuloso Complete. And the reason is because they are about $3, $2.88, I believe. But there is a rebate on Ibotta for $3. I bought the wrong one. I'm still going to keep it because it is an item that I use at home. Um, but I'm going to go back probably this weekend. I'll go back to Walmart and buy the right kind so that I can submit it to Ibotta. Yes, it's going to be completely free item. The other uh, items that we found was this uh, Nutri-Grain Bargs. And these ones are the ones that my father likes a lot. And yesterday was his birthday, so happy birthday, Dad. Love you. Um, we were able to spend some time with him last night, amazing time. So, But we got him several boxes of this uh, Nutri-Grain Breakfast Bargs. And so uh, what it is, is on the side, it has the Buy Free buy one get one free uh, and there's a coupon over here what do you do and what i did i bought a total of six of them but what i did i pay for the first one and i always carry a box a little box uh 
cutter on my on my bag on my coupons on my binder and I also carry a little scissors with me so what I did um, I bought I paid for the first one I cut off the coupon and roll it into the next transaction and to the next transaction and to the next transaction I only took six of them I wanted a four for my my parents home and a couple for my home remember we coupon to help out others as well so um, but we have right here, the coupon doesn't expire into October the 15th, so we got plenty of time to use that coupon again. I did left plenty for the other people on the store as well, so there is more. They're going to go fast because obviously um, a lot of people know about the buy one, get one free from the from the cereal deal that we had a couple weeks ago that was an amazing deal too um a lot of people were what they were doing was cutting the coupon and using it on the same um item that they were buying to start with i don't do it i just don't think it's right to do it i just pay for the first one and actually my average from these items pay for the first one and then i went to the second one and got got it for free i think i only paid like i want to say like two dollar two cents or ten cents on on taxes so um this is what we did and and that's how you can do that's what you can do with your overage from items like this that you find um there is always alternatives you know you can use it towards your other items or you can always uh, start getting a gift card and and start loading it up i might make another video on how to do a gift card i haven't done it for for quite a long time since like i say we just use it for other items um but uh, the way you do it is you can ask the cashier to load whatever amount you calculate that you're going to go over like in this transaction i would have done three four six dollars i would say you, can i please have i probably would have asked her for five dollars that way there would be a dollar left to cover the taxes but you know and added like a little gum or something but i can uh have the gift card and say can you please load five dollars to the gift card if it's brand new gift card can i have five dollars into this gift card and and the and those are what i would do would be the walmart cards because those ones don't have a charge so you can just uh, ask them to add whatever amount you think is you're gonna go over even a dollar you can always say can i please add a dollar into this gift card and remember the dollar by dollar you can add up to great great savings um i i wish i could have submitted this one to ibotta because that's another way to add great savings uh, last year alone i did over 300 dollars on savings from ibotta if you're not part of the team of ibotta yet there is a link on the um, comments below so that you can be part of my team for Ibotta. Ibotta gives you, you can earn up to $10 um, just for signing up with Ibotta. So there will be a link um, with my code to, to be part of my team. Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting my channel. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I will be happy to try to answer them. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Today is Friday. So we are getting close to the weekend. I'm going to try to do one more haul from uh, Walgreens this weekend so I can load it up and then try to put something together for the sales next week. Again, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you guys next video. Bye-bye.